Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Shania, but you can call me Naya. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I get so many questions every time I post. What camera do you use? What do you edit with? What's your equipment? All this stuff. I thought I'd make a video. I made a video about this a long time ago. All of that stuff got stolen. <laughs> so I kind of had to re-up my equipment. But it's okay, you know, God comes through. So if you're interested, stay tuned for this video and we're gonna get right into it. Sorry y'all, these braids, I gotta take them out so yeah we're wearing this hat today <laughs> well the camera that i'm recording with right now is the canon m50 it's a mirrorless camera it's a pretty good camera it's a pretty good beginner camera as well i love how smaller it is because i used to use the canon 80d it's a bigger camera but this one is really good i really love it i enjoy it it's just an all-around really good camera i don't have any problems with it this is my main camera i'm filming on it right now without a doubt really dope camera i use this remote i got it off of amazon it's just like this nothing really fancy about it it has like settings right here if you want to record two seconds or take a picture my vlog camera really basic i use the canon g7x but the lens i it's been through it it's coming apart right here like she's been through it but she's still holding up but yeah this is the canon g7x i had to take the little lens thing out because it just broke it wouldn't open so i just like i said forget it and took them shits out i'm actually looking to upgrade my camera but i don't know just yet it still it still works really good and see you can see yourself I'm just going to run her down to the wheel swallow. off. And if I'm not using this, then I am using my phone. Now, I just got a new phone. This is the 13 Pro Max. But before, I was using the 11 Pro Max. Honestly, these cameras on the phone are getting really good. Especially for vlogging. Because sometimes I be kind of self-conscious about like recording myself. But i'm getting over that sometimes like it just gets in the way versus my phone i need my phone kind of everywhere i go you know so it's just easier to whip out my phone and record like y'all the camera is way bigger on this phone now i need to show y'all really quick <sighs> okay 11 pro mac um if you watch my jamaica vlog majority of it was on my phone i did not think it would be much of a difference i'm probably still gonna spend money on cameras and stuff like that but the way these phone cameras are getting i don't even know if i'm gonna get a vlog camera i think like i need to get a camera cover for this phone next is my lens lenses 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 <laughs> so right now i'm filming on sigma 16 1.4 this is really the main lens that i use on this camera because it's just the depth of field is really good and it's pretty wide quality is really really good i love sigma i've always been purchasing their lenses i just kind of got this is the 30 millimeter this is more for like portraits Ooh the 30 millimeter this one is really close up it's a really nice lens i have the kit lens as well to this camera the kit lens is not that bad it's just it doesn't let in a lot of light i don't get that super like creamy blur you know <laughs> but yeah the kit lens is not bad i still use it and then sometimes like traveling i'll use this lens this is the 24 millimeter it just looks bigger because it's on this adapter and this just makes my camera super small so it's really good for travel and then this is just the adapter uh, i'm gonna switch so this is the kit lens y'all as you can see it does not let in a lot of light way darker the background is not as blurred out yeah this is the 16 it's really it's bigger it's way bigger now we're gonna go back see now this one just lets in so much more light i also have like a 50 millimeter and an 85 but i don't use those to film i use the rode mic it's really little it's a pretty good microphone i also use it for my voiceovers so i have a few i use this this is the i don't even know how you say that this is a tripod um i just extended it it's pretty it goes really high um you can also take this part out and then you have like a monopod i think is it 
I mean, it is. It says monopod. But I never actually took this off. I don't know how in the world that actually works. If I'm in the car, I'll use this. Put on the window. Sometimes I'll put this on my mirror or like on this window. I have this one. It's holding my light. This is my Joby, but I'm not a fan of these anymore. I have the smaller one too, but I don't really like it. The other tripod that I use like if I'm vlogging is this one. I got this from Amazon. Hold it. And it's easy to just open it up and then you can you press this button to adjust this part i really like this tripod it's very just convenient and easier than the other one i have this stabilizer i have the dji uh, stabilizer this is the sc i really enjoy this little gadget <laughs> i had the ronin s and it was way heavier so the sc is actually lighter yeah this is my stabilizer so i can get steady shots most of the time I try to use natural light like that's the best light but if not then I'll use my ring light which is right here <laughs> I'll also use this light which is the newer LED 308 this comes in clutch you can change like the, the tone you can have it warmer you can have it cooler I forgot to show y'all <laughs> my drone I use the um mini 2 I just kind of joined the dro drone drone community this is a challenge i need to fly it more this is like my third one this is my third one my third one and it hasn't been a year yet so shout out to warranty so small because i used to always want a drone but i didn't want no big ass drones you know that was just doing too much low-key could fit in my pocket if I really wanted to, <laughs> but I'm not gonna put it in my bucket. The quality on this is so good. It's just like crazy how much you can create this little thing, but learning how to fly it is a challenge. The remote is kind of big. I use a MacBook Pro. This is the 2015 one. I'm actually ready to upgrade and I'm waiting for this new one to drop. Then I also use Final Cut Pro. I've been using Final Cut Pro for a long time. I think 2011. There's just like endless things you can do on there. If you're into editing and all of that, like you will have a blast, like all the things that you can do with it. I definitely recommend learning it. I still, to this day, I still watch tutorials of Final Cut just because it's so much that I didn't know. I've been using that for what, 2011? Damn, that, 10 years? 10 years? It's been something that I just enjoy doing for the fun of it. Another thing I forgot to mention is I use a hard drive for editing because it takes up so much space. I highly recommend it's my passport for Mac. I think it's one terabyte. I low-key want to show you like how I edit a little bit. It's not gonna be in depth at all. I'm gonna just show you guys really quick. Okay, so this is Final Cut. This is just it by itself. Nothing's loaded, but if I wanna load something, I go into like my files and then I find my passport and I have all like stuff in here, as you can see. So these are all the videos that I posted for September. Your girl was on a roll. Definitely go watch those videos if you have not. Please support your girl. We're back on it. it takes a little mini. I don't know what is going on right there. What, what's going on? So here is my Jamaica vlog. You can see all the little cuts and edits and just a whole lot going on but yeah this is basically where the magic happens you feel me and i don't know why these titles say this like what is what is this it's just corrupted i use plugins i color grade i love color grading that's like my favorite thing to do just whatever month it is i like to create folders for that i still have old videos i've never posted i don't know what i'm gonna do with those and this video right here this is what it looks like when i just put everything together as you guys can see at the jamaica vlogs i didn't like combine everything together so it's just kind of like all over the place but when i finish everything i try to do it like this so it just kind of like flows seamlessly so you don't really see a lot going on but it's a whole bunch of edits and other stuff in here like um, effects and everything yeah this one right here you see I kind of everything just corrupted I don't know if because I'm recording or what my computer is getting really loud and why is my face stuck like that I do have plugins I get a lot of stuff from like pixel film studio or MV motion I don't know I have it on the screen plugins are a lifesaver like if I want to zoom in I have a quick little zoom in effect right here or titles different kind of text animation 
decorations it's just so much you could do like what is this that's a lot going on <laughs> i try to stay as organized as possible just because things can get a little hectic sometimes especially like if i'm filming on a camera and my phone i have to like organize everything so yeah that's the editing aspect so to end this video off if you're looking to get into like youtube or content creating i don't want you guys to look at this video like oh my god i need to get that camera i need to get this lens you don't need a lot of stuff most people now are vlogging or making videos on their phone but i am a like tech nerd so i enjoy stuff like this but i'm also learning to simplify it and not have so much equipment because there is some equipment that i just don't use anymore i don't want you to feel like you need this stuff you don't so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions you can leave them down below i read all of my comments i love responding to you guys and reading your comments i will see you guys next time with a brand new video bye